like some hot hot garbage flaming hot dumpster phoenix is the vibe we're carrying out today good morning vlogmas um we're still going backwards with the editing today is december 18th it is monday it means christmas is almost here and this weekend was the worst trademark the worst weekend i have had in a few months and today the weather was just like absolute freak storm and it just like has messed up the day everybody is home in the house including my grandma who normally works on monday so she's very loud and running around and it makes it very hard to film but i just finished editing um today's video to go up and get that up for you guys which i'm glad i waited to today and not yesterday when i was having a terrible day because the vibe in that was just like immaculate it was the best vibe i have had in a long time because it was the best day ever and i just need more of that energy and i watched it and i was like no this is the energy we're carrying out we are not carrying out the energy of yesterday can you tell how haggard i look can you tell what kind of weekend we had so if you don't pay attention to any of my notifications, like my text post, you're going to know that we lost internet. Our cord was cut. And so we had to deal with that and fix the internet. That was fun. Um, that was a whole ordeal and a half. It like totally messed up our weekend plans. <sighs> I need more coffee. That's what I need. I need more coffee. It's solid. Also, this is like already cold. I think I just... The coffee pot's empty. This is technically my third cup of coffee this morning. We need it. Say hello, Vlogmas. Yes. You, you good scabber. I know. How was your weekend? I was busy. How was yours? Anyways. Vlogging, vlogging. I know Tesla heating up the coffee again I hate heating up my coffee it always tastes like bleh. like you can tell just ugh. we'll be making some tea next um and yesterday was the worst day overall it gouged me so deep like so so deep and it literally just rippled into every single thing that I was trying to do. And there was no breathing. There was no catching my breath. So I said, F all of this. We're not doing anything productive yesterday. And that's exactly what we did. Absolutely nothing productive. I spent way too much time crying. And I think you can tell on my face today. <coughs> but again, thank you for everybody who checked on me. So after this weekend of not vlogging, I'm totally out of practice. I'm also super behind. The arc I was supposed to read came out today and I'm not finished with the book. So I'm just kind of like sitting here trying to read so I can get a full review up while I did post about it. Um, I do have some opinions about it. Um, they're like, I am enjoying it now that it's picked up, but it took about like getting through the first third of the book to get through it. But I'm also just like, this really, really irks me is that in the first third, of the book anytime food is mentioned it is immediately paired with like a disgust or a guilt and uh that's a huge uh that that's just like so anybody with body dysmorphia or like me i was like oh okay um it, it's just a flag for me and i'm just like well this impairs my ability to enjoy the rest of it now that it's picked up because all i keep thinking about is is that and that i just that it's like a very casual fat phobic uh female commentary on herself and coming out from a female art um author i just don't i don't vibe with that and whether I, I will probably write that into my actual review for the book but honestly i i'm just it's just one of those things that bothers me and obviously i have to go with my gut and say what i say because i owe it to you guys for a review but like right now well, I'm liking the way this is picking up and the way the story's going. Again, it took reading like 30% of it before it got picked up. And it also had to have me like deal with the mention of it, of like these weird, disgusting food vibes multiple times. And it just doesn't, I don't feel like it's necessary. It doesn't feel 
it just does not feel necessary that we have to have this for our main female character. And unless there's like a reason for this and it's explained, which I don't foresee it being it because they mention the main character goes out to eat with a male character and there's her favorite places in this like self-loathing and guilt is not tagged on when a man is paying for it is a really weird vibe that it immediately switches and I just I don't know how I feel about that from it but other than that I am enjoying the plot like I really like the story and uh that's that's that but let's uh let's read it some more I've got my like more tea because I'm freezing I just had a salad um yeah I never share my food this is my my leftover salad that I made for myself for lunch um it was also paired with half a piece of my grilled cheese so for me it was like food I was like no I was like love was a jerk and actually listened to me when I was like please don't get food that makes me sick so he didn't get any food that made me sick and now I'm sitting here like all I want is the food that makes me sick so I oh crap I left uh this out I left this out Left something that needs uh, left goat cheese out. Oops. But yeah. I don't know. That's just something I'm super in tune to is I don't like like comments about food. But as I go and talk about my lunch, I was like, I am eating a salad because I get sick. No, I'm eating a salad because if I eat anything that is like got a lot of oil or gluten or cheese <laughs> or any of the stuff, it gets me uber sick and then I just complain about being sick. So I'm limited to a very small thing, percentage of foods, which just happens to be vegetables that if love doesn't pre-cut, I never actually eat. So I have a bunch of pre-cut vegetables in the fridge right now. Brian's coming down, I gotta see what he needs. Well, I just realized it's six o'clock. I haven't checked in with you guys since I was talking earlier. Uh, it was spacing out all day. This is pair number three. So this is a, I, I'm holding it double and I'm in the heel turn. I had to put this aside, the lace sock, um, I just finished the gusset decrease on this and then once I finish this bad boy, so this was using the Whoa Dragon Horde yarn um, holiday bobble set, the one that had the two mini skeins in it. And yeah, I'm holding this one double. So once I get this done, I'm going to go back to the other sock, but I want to get this done and then I can feel a little bit less guilty. I think I'm going to start... Um, Aratat. Love just said it to me three times. It is one of Ghouls Who Reads book, book club, book, book choices. Oh my gosh. For this month, I'm leaning as far forward as possible so this one can't get in here. Do you see her tail? There's her head. Yep, there we go. Yep, you got up here. But, um, I'm going to start that, I think. You, ow, that is my kneecap. That is my kneecap. I know, lots of snuggles. All right, so I'm starting Ararat, is how you say it. As I like stare at it, my brain's like, we're not doing that a million times. And I just realized I actually own the sequel to this. I didn't even realize I had a sequel. I got it in like a, um, a book box and I didn't know it was the sequel and this is a series. I just looked it up when I was punching into my Goodreads, so that's kind of cool. So uh, I'll have to tell Love that when I when I call him. But my head hurts. It's like that post, like when you get so upset and it's like all consuming and you cry. Like I don't know if this is like for everybody or if this is just like a me thing. Um, it's just like so physically draining the day after. Like when I get so emotionally distraught, I get like an emotional hangover from it. It just it sucks and it hurts so bad. My face hurts. I need to like, I just want a good old face mask. I gotta go see what I have in the bathroom for a face mask. And I'm trying to get the kids to take baths because they stinky. And it's been a while since they took a bath. And neither of them want to. And I don't have the spoons to fight them today. So that's an issue. But I mean, ugh, I don't know. Just complaining about normal stuff. I don't want to move. I'm cold. It's just one of those days that I wish I didn't have to go away for work and he could just like sit and snuggle and play games with me. 
and uh yeah that's that's where i am mentally it's been a slow emotional hangover kind of day so it's nothing really interesting to share with you guys but it is what it is Thank you.